Hey guys, yesterday we compared numbers. Remember using our counters to see which number was less and which one was more? So today we're going to do something different. We are going to go ahead and still compare numbers, but we're going to try to find out what number we have, okay? We're going to break it down, okay? So we've done this on our mountain math with how many tens and how many ones, you know, because in a tens frame we only have one frame here. So we have one ten. And then we have one here by itself, and it's one by itself. So we're going to go ahead and practice with those today, okay? So we're going to go ahead and look right here, and we can see that we have one ten. There's only one ten. So we're going to write the number one underneath that. So we know there's only one ten. Now look over here by the itself. You look at this little counter over here by the, this is called an extra. He is all by himself. He is extra. Okay, so that's a different word to say he's a one or by himself. So there's only one extra. So we're just going to go ahead and write a one right underneath him too. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and it says how many tens? Hmm, well we just wrote down one ten and we can see that there's one ten. So on this line we're going to write one ten. Okay, how many extras? Remember, extra is just this little guy over here all by himself. So we wrote down there's one extra. So we're going to put an extra here. Now, one and a one make what number, guys? It makes the number 11. So one and a one makes 11. So how many in all? When it says how many in all, we count all of it together. Remember how we counted where it's 10, 11, 10, 11. So on this line, we're going to write 11. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one together here. All right, how many tens do we have? We have one ten. So I'm going to just put that one right there. All right, how many extras? How many ones do we have? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to write a four down and write and cut in two. Huh, what does one and a four make? One and a four make 14. Remember, one and a four make 14. All right, so we have, let's go over here and say, how many tens? Well, we know that there's only one ten, so we're going to write the one here. How many extras? How many ones do we have? Four. So we're going to write four. All right. How many in all? Remember, that's how we count, and we don't have to count one, two, three, four. We don't have to do that anymore because we know that this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So on this line here, we're going to write 14, which is a 1 and a 4. Make sure you put that 1 first because with our teen numbers, 1 always goes first because if you switch it around, it will make 41, and we don't want 41. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. All right, how many tens do we have? We have one ten, right? How many do we have here? How many extras? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to write a six. Slant on down and give it a curl. And one and a six makes the number what, guys? Sixteen. One and a six makes sixteen. One and a six makes sixteen. All right, so on our line, how many tens? We know that there's only one ten. So we're going to put a one. All right, now there's six extras, okay? There's six by themselves, so that's six. So we're going to put a six on this line here. And it asks how many in all. Remember, in all is all of it. So we can count. We can go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we're going to put 16 on this line. All right, let's come down here. All right, I want you to tell me how many ones there are. And go ahead and write it on your paper. All right, I hope you wrote a one because there's only one ten frame, right? All right, how many extras are there? Go ahead and write that number for me. All right, I hope you wrote three because there's one, two, three extras. Okay, so one and a three, one and a three make what number? Go ahead and write that right there for me. Okay, I hope you wrote... 13 because one and a three make 13 one and a three make 13 so 
How many tens? Go ahead and write that number right there. How many tens? Okay. Now I want you to write here, write how many extras there are. How many extras are there right here? Now I want you to write how many in all. Remember, it's how we count. 10, 11, 12, 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. So I hope you wrote on your line how many tens you put a one. Okay, because there's only one ten. How many extras? How many ones all by themselves? I hope you wrote a three. And I hope when you put those two numbers together, you wrote the number 13. Teen. Put the one in the front because in teen numbers, the one goes in the front. Because if we put three and a one, that's 31 and we don't want 31. All right. I want you to go ahead. I'm going to give you a few, give you a minute and I want you to do this one for me. See if you can do the last one without me. Go ahead. Okay, guys, let's see if you did it, okay? How many tens are there? I hope you wrote one. How many extras or how many ones? One, two, three, four. Down and right and cut in two. And I hope you notice that one and a four make 14. So one and a four make 14. One and a four make 14. All right, so let's go ahead and see. How many tens? I hope you wrote the number one right here. How many extras do we have all by themselves? Four. And how many in all? Remember, that's how we count. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I hope you put a one and a four because if you put one and, a, I'm sorry, put a four and a one, that would make 41. And remember, T numbers, the one always goes first. All right, guys, good job working on making these numbers. Again, it was just a quick little review and an extra practice never hurts. I'll talk to you later. Bye.